Yo, 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 what is up, man? It's your boy. We are back with another video. In this video, I'm just going to put the pieces together and I'm going to let y'all decide who's lying and who's telling the truth, right? We got Buck Dancing himself, Stephen A. Smith, the house Negroes of all house Negroes. He's the one that always seems to be friends with all these. Jerry Jones, that's my friend. Dana White, that's my friend. Skip Bayless, that's my friend. All of his white buddies that are in trouble, he loves them and that's his friend and he always looks sad on the camera when he's talking about them. He don't never have the same energy that he has when he talks about black athletes, right? So I just wanna play this clip of Stephen A. Smith saying that, you know, Dana White, he said that he only was physical with his wife only one time. Not only are we going to play him, but we're going to play Dana, Dana White um, clip as well. So let's see Stephen A. Smith. He looked like he just lost his favorite puppy. You know, you would think something personal happened to Stephen A. Smith. The way that he's looking so sad and so concerned. You would think he's going through some family issues himself, but no, 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 no. When it's Dana White, Jerry Jones, Skip Bayless, a white man in higher power, that that's his friend. He loves him and he's so concerned. But yet he don't give them the same smoke that he gives black athletes. So let's listen to uh, Stephen A. Smith. Lying or he might be telling the truth. I don't know. Y'all let me know. But this is Stephen A. Smith, right? Um, my heart goes out to his family because this is a very, very embarrassing situation. Mm -hmm. um, he says it has never, ever happened before. Um, he's completely ashamed and utterly disgusted with himself that he finds himself in this situation that he would ever have done so. So he's repeating what he said. Him. And involved in this situation. There, there was right? So you heard Skip... I mean, not Skip Bayes, but you heard Stephen A. Smith said he said that it only happened once. So I would have thought the journalism, the seasoned veteran, the experienced Stephen A. Smith wouldn't just go by what someone says. He would do their research, right? He would do their research and see, has Dana White, has he done this before, right? Because this is Stephen A. Smith's profession. He... He has all these plugs and all these connections, all these inside stories. You would think that Stephen A could find some information about Dana White. But did he do his background search? Did he do his research on Dana White? Nah. He just went off of what Dana White said. And this is what Dana White said, right? Definitely a lot of alcohol involved, but that's, that's no excuse. I literally am making no excuses for this thing at all. It's never happened before. It's the first time. First time that it's ever happened before. It's the first time that it's ever happened. And people are making no excuses for this thing at all. It's never happened before. It's the first time that it's ever happened. And people are going to say what they're going to say. It's, it's that it's ever happened. And people before it's the first time that excuses for this thing at all. It's never happened before. It's the first time. I literally am making no excuses for this thing at all. It's never happened before. It's the first time that it's ever happened. It never happened before. It's the first time. So we have Stephen A. Smith uh, co-signing what Dana White said. But Stephen A. Smith is supposed to be the journalist. He's supposed to be the... Meanwhile. He's supposed to be the expert. He's, he's supposed to have all these connections, right? Well, Stephen A. There's an interview that happened a while ago, right? There's a uh, interview that happened a while ago. Why, why just thing? I don't know. And this is Dana White's mother right here. And this was recorded five years ago. This was recorded five years ago. And it seemed like Dana White's own mother is pretty much snitching on him. <laughs> I don't know what Dana White did to his mother for his own mother to snitch on him, but obviously they don't have a really good close connection um because the last person you think that would rat you out is your own mother 
But obviously, something must be going on that we don't know about. And I'm not about to get all in their business. But Dana White mom did come out and say that that's not the first time. But keep in mind, this, this video clip was made over five years ago. So five years ago, Dana White mother was telling everybody Dana White allegedly is abusive to women. But he's not um, a good person. He seems to have lost his character somewhere along the way. He mistreats people. Um, it's terrible the way he speaks of women and treat, treats women. That really bothers me because I don't believe I've ever brought him up to behave like that. The way that he treats women and the way that he behaves with women, right? To me, because I don't in the way he mistreats people. Um, it's terrible the way he speaks of women and treat, treats women. That really bothers me because I don't believe I've ever brought him up to behave like that. Sure. Um, and I don't remember the, I, I don't know if I ever knew her name. Um, I know for sure, you know, he has plenty of the ring card girls sleep with him. Um, there's two of them I know for sure, um, and I don't remember the. I, I don't know if I ever her used to annoy me. The former ring card girl Rochelle, and, um, being a ring card girl for them, and it was pretty obvious that they had a relationship. Furious. Well, and that's that's Dana White mom is talking about all the uh, uh, entanglements Dana has had with the ring card girls, but we're not talking about that. We're just talking about him being abusive. So let me skip to that part. I mean, he goes after any girl he wants and never seen in nearly long. Are you familiar with the Federal Trade Commission? Yes, I know. Them. Your investigation. I've heard it puts Tiger Woods to shame. All right, here we go. Here we go. Joke. Here we go. Don't make a joke of your marriage. Um, but his want to be, and you want to be out with other people. Interviews say we're a lot alike. I have a hard time with Dana's marriage, I guess you could call it. Mm. Um, because I am a believer. If you're married, you're married, and that's it. And if you don't want to be, and you want to be out with other people, then leave the person you're with. Don't mm. make a joke of your marriage, um, but his marriage is a joke. His um, marriage is a joke. Well, he, it's, everyone knows that he, he puts Tiger Woods to shame. Jeez. You know, he has uh, plenty of the ring card girls sleep with him. Um, there's two of them I know for Jeez. sure, um, and I don't remember the, I, I don't know if I ever knew her name. So, um, yeah. She was the first ring card girl, and she used to do the Zions commercials for them too, but um, <laughs> he was, he, I know he was sleeping with her. It used to annoy me. The former ring card girl, <laughs> Michelle, he uh, took her out, uh, did a lot of things for her helped her get into Playboy. She was trying to build a career and she wanted to go well beyond um, being a ring card girl for the UFC. Mm. Uh, so Dana was with her at a number of functions and with friends and, Sheesh. and it was pretty obvious that they had a relationship for a while. Yeah, he mm. slept with his sister-in-law in my house, which made me absolutely- Slept with his sister-in-law? Now, this is all alleged on my part. I'm just re replaying with Dana White. This is all alleged. Nothing that is being played on this video is, is true. I'm just replaying with Dana White mother is saying, sheesh, boy, she really snitching, snitching. Really furious. I mean, he goes after any girl he wants and usually mm. gets them. So mm. his wife is, they're constantly fighting. Um, the honeymoon, she gave him the worst black eye I've ever seen and nearly lost his eye. So Listen to that part. They're constantly fighting. I mean, they are constantly fighting. But Stephen A. Smith said, that that was his first time and his only time. Dana White said that was his first time and only time. According to his mother, that that wasn't the first time. And keep in mind, this this interview that you've seen was is five years old. This interview is five years old. Slept with a sister-in-law in my house, which made me absolutely furious. I mean, he goes after any girl he wants and usually gets them. So his wife is, they're constantly fighting. Um, the honeymoon, she gave him the worst black eye I've ever seen and nearly lost his eye. So I don't know if that's his way of handling it, but mm. he's gone overboard with handling it. Are you familiar with the Federal Trade Commission? So y'all leave a comment down below. Who's lying here? Is Stephen A. Smith lying? Is Dana White lying? Or is Dana White mother lying? Somebody got to be lying here. All right. I don't know who who's telling the truth, who's lying. But all I know is when someone, my opinion is, in my opinion, this is not Dana's wife first time hitting his wife. Because if you looked at that video of him hitting her, normally when a man accidentally, right, 
when a man accidentally put their hands on a woman, they like, oh my God, like they they freak out more than a woman because they like, oh my God, I can't believe I did that, right? The man normally freaks out more than a woman because that man never done that before. And he didn't mean to, he just reacted, right? When you watch that footage of Dana White slapping his wife, he, he looked like he did that before. He didn't flinch. Matter of fact, he kept on slapping and he, and he kept on pushing her. So that looked like that was a, uh, a comfort zone. It didn't seem like that was shocking. It felt like he was comfortable in doing that. So that's why I say, me personally, I don't think that's Dana White's first time doing it. But that's just my opinion. Nothing that I'm saying is facts, but I'm just paying, paying attention to the behavior. Normally when a man, you know, accidentally hits their girl or wife, they are more freaked out than a woman. Dana White looked very comfortable. Very relaxed. He didn't flinch. He looked like he did that before. In my opinion. So y'all leave a comment down below, man. Who do you think is lying? Do you think Dana White is lying? Think Stephen A. Smith is lying? Or do you think Dana White mother is lying? Somebody gotta be lying. I don't know. Y'all leave a comment down below. It's your boy, Damn D. Signing out, y'all. Peace.